Hey everybody, it's Julie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing a very quick and easy swing card or a swing valentine. These are also known as flip cards. They've been around forever and you can even buy dies now that do all the heavy lifting for you. But this isn't a really hard card to make, so I'm just doing it the old-fashioned DIY way. So my cardstock is five and a half inches by eight and a half. I drew a pencil line at two and one eighth inches from that short end. And then I'm going to grab a piece of washi tape so I can anchor my heart-shaped die. This is from the Hero Arts Infinity Hearts die set. I'm going to line the center of that with the pencil line, and then I'm going to line the edge of my cutting pad also along that pencil line. And this is so that we're only putting pressure all the way up to that pencil line to do a partial cut of that shape. And here, as after I run it through my machine and I remove the die and the tape, you're going to see that I've only got um, half of that heart die cut, so partial die cutting. And that's why I needed that pencil line so I could line everything up. Now, now I'm going to erase it. Um, you don't have to erase it, but it's not going to look so good. <laughs> so I like to erase the pencil lines. And then I'm going to use my scoreboard here. This one's by We Are Memory Keepers. It's a little mini scoreboard. I use it a ton. And I'm going to score up to the top of the heart. And then I'm going to skip over to the bottom of the heart and finish that score line. And then I'm also going to score at four and a quarter. So two and one eighth and four and a quarter. So where that original pencil line was, um, that's where my score line is. And I didn't erase the pencil line there in the middle of the heart because it's not going to be seen, but um, you can if you want to, <laughs> or if you're worried it's going to be seen. So now I'm going to go ahead and fold the card in half along the gutter crease there and then crease that with my uh, bone folder and flip that over the two and one eighth inch section. And you'll notice that the heart swings through that opening and remains flat because it doesn't have a score line in it. So it didn't bend or fold on me. So there you can see that swing action there or flip action. And then I'm gonna set that aside. That's my card base. But now I'm gonna work on the decorative pieces. So I wanted to make my own uh, conversation hearts. So I grabbed the alphabet dies from the letterboard set because they're small enough to do what I wanted to do. And they're about three eighths of an inch tall. They're under half an inch. I know that. So if you use anything larger than that, you're going to want to, you know, shift the size of your heart shapes. So I'm using washi tape to just hold those all together, spelled out what I wanted to say. And this washi tape is awesome because it has this dot grid pattern on it and it's see-through, very see-through. So I can see exactly where I'm putting these letters. So I already pre-die cut some uh, shapes, heart shapes out of uh, pink and red cardstock. And then I'm going to line this up and make sure it's exactly where I want it. And then once I've got that in place, I can go ahead and send that through my die cutting machine. And the trick for using dies like this to spell out what you want is try to use phrases that don't incorporate a letter more than once. It's the easiest way. Otherwise, you kind of run into a snag. I wanted to do a knockout effect. Now, if you just want to uh, glue them all down, you can certainly um, die cut them out and then glue them all down, etc. But I wanted that knockout effect. So uh, it really helps if you don't have two E's, for example, then make sure what you're spelling doesn't need two E's. Otherwise, you have to really futz with it. And that kind of destroys the whole purpose of uh, quick and easy. <laughs> So now I'm going to glue my knockout hearts over the top of a contrasting color. And I'm just going to use some liquid glue here so I can get into all those tight spots. Because with Tape Runner, it isn't always easy to get those little tiny areas or you get Tape Runner everywhere. So um, I'm just using a, a glue there. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other hearts so I get everything um set up the way I want it. So I thought this phrase was really cute. And best of all, um, no letter was repeated twice in either of these phrases. So <laughs> 
that made it easy. So now I've got my base card here and I need to get these glued into place. So I'm going to take the Love Ya Heart and I want to glue that right there. But the easiest way to get that into place is to slip it through that opening. So I'm just going to um, hold my card like this and then apply um, tape runner or whatever I need. Now you can coat the whole thing because um, it all needs to be anchored down so it can uh, flip properly, that whole heart shape. You don't see the other half of it on the base card, but this shape right here, you can definitely see the whole thing. So there we go. So we've got that uh, exactly in place where we need it. And then I'm going to take the other one that's going to go on the inside and go ahead and get that mounted. And again, you can use tape runner. You don't have to worry about um, using liquid glue. I mean, you can if you want to, but... I just grabbed my tape runner there. And there we go. And then I'm just going to show you in action how that swings through the opening or flips um, back on itself so you can see it when you open the card or close the card. So then I decided I needed just a little bit more adornment. And I just die cut a couple more hearts out of uh, different colors of cardstock. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, secure these to the front of the card. Now you want to make sure that you don't have any um, adhesive in that opening area. So I just wanted to make sure I put adhesive only on that um, side of the heart that wasn't going through the opening because then otherwise it would just get all gummed up, right? On the love ya. That yellow heart is what I'm talking about. And then I've got my little uh, minty green um, XO, which was, you know, another DIY conversation heart and just went ahead and glue that down in place. So that one is anchored on the inside. Looks like I got a little bit of tape runner. Got a little messy there. So just clean that up a little bit and burnish it down. And then you can see how that little yellow heart is not impeding the ability of that love ya to swing back and forth through that opening. And then you can write your message there in the center. And there you have it, a quick and easy swing valentine. All right. Hope this inspires you and you give it a whirl. I got more tips and suggestions over on my blog and the link is down in the description. Thanks for watching.